Hello, my name is Ahit Chitsas, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. No Go problem. ahead and introduce your name and let us know where you're coming in from. My name is Rohan and I'm coming in from Bangalore, India. Awesome. Let's dive into it. Thinking Grow Rich. Sure. Yeah. When did you start with the book? How did you start with the book? Well, it's very interesting. I think I read the book about at least a decade back, like 10 years back. But... Uh, you know, I've been following a guy called Dan Pena on the internet for about a month now. He is uh, one of the most successful high performance coaches of all time. And interestingly enough, the book that he recommends the most is Think and Grow Rich. And I started reading it and then I received, uh, you know, interest from, from this group about that. So talk so about tell me this. When yeah. you started reading Thinking Go Rich, what yeah. were the two principles that you're using from the book today in your life? What are those two? Sure. So before I read the book, uh, one of the things that he talks about is, you know, whatever your mind can think, it can achieve. So I'll give you an example before I read the book. So uh, in my 10th standard, a friend, a friend's mom asked me, how much are you going to score? And I told her a number and I scored the exact number marks. Uh, and that was like 10 years before I read the book. So, yeah, I mean, the first and most important principle is whatever you can think, you can probably achieve. And the second most important thing, I think, is uh, perseverance. So... Uh, the line to success is not straight. It's, you know, you, it's meandering. You have to go through a lot. But if you have the burning desire and if you persevere through the struggles and challenges, you'll eventually get there. So I agree with that. So here's my question. Sure. If individuals are watching it and they want yeah. to go read the book, I highly yeah. recommend reading the book. I don't see why you shouldn't read the book. You should spend and invest time in yourself and read the book. Here's my question. When you say burning desire, what does that mean to you? It means you want that more than anything else in your life. You want that more than sleep. You want that more than any comfort. You want, them, want it more, more than anything in your life. And that's the thing that you think about 24-7, day after day, till you get there. That's your goal. That's your burning desire. What you want. The one thing that you want to get to in life. And so how do you deal with setbacks? Because you said that the, 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 the path to success is not a straight line. I agree with that. So how do you deal with setbacks? Let's say you're doing business and there's some negativity or some challenges, some struggles, or things are not going as well as it should be going. What is your recommendation? How do we remedy that? Sure. Uh, can I show you something quickly? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So this is something that I use for the current business that I'm working on. And uh, if you can see, there are pages filled with, uh, like, why do I want to reach that goal? And how do I reach that goal? And most importantly, what are the challenges that might come up? And it's listed all there. All of them are listed there. So uh, for example, Say you are doing a internet marketing thing and your campaign doesn't do as well. So you have plans. Okay, so I expected to make this much money from this campaign. That didn't happen. What is plan B? How do I get to the next level? Where am I not doing well? Which part of my campaign is not performing as it should? And then tweak and learn, implement something and then do it again. So... Part of it, I would say, like expect challenges. It's not going to be smooth sailing. Have plans, but you cannot plan for everything. Some things are going to be unpredictable. And for those, you keep trying different things until you hit that solution that is going to take you to the next level. I agree with that 100%. Writing down your goals and also having backup plan if in case things don't go well. Not to have a plan B. A lot of people confuse that. It's not having a plan B where I change my course of action. I'm no, just going to go there. Exactly. My goal is setting stone. The path I'm taking there might change depending on the strategy that I'm using. 
and what's working currently and things like that i agree with that now what is your recommendation as far as studying the materials how often should i go back to the book how often should i revisit the materials that i have learned what is your suggestion or what are the methods that you use so as i told you i read the book about 10 years back and then i read finished the book again 2 weeks back but a lot of things kept coming back to me and one of the things that he recommends is there are certain chapters in the book uh, like how to uh, program your mind to uh, envision success uh, success triggers and things like that and he recommends it like go back to it every 2 3 4 weeks so i would say so i'm a regular reader right i read at least 45 minutes a day uh, what i do is or what i want to do and my recommendation would be uh set a timeline like for 3 weeks i'm going to read new books but every third week you go back to the classics and read the most important chapters and uh imbibe all those habits or um, you know uh all those things that the seed has been laid in your mind but go back to that again so that you can think about it differently look at it from a different angle so every 3 or 4 weeks uh, the classics the most important books in your life i agree with that now here is my question for you yeah. i get this a lot a yeah. lot of individuals are in different countries beside the states beside united states and yeah. sometimes they have doubts that the success principles could work in their current situation circumstances or in the current country or city that they're in what is sure. your recommendation i know you're not in the states so no, I mean, does yeah. that make a difference or how, how how should i approach that just because i'm not in the united states well the success principles stay the same the things that change is the environment of doing business for example there are certain rules in us uh taxation and other uh rules which are much easier in the us but uh it's kind of difficult in india but you have to figure that out so the principles of success would still this stay the same like you envision what you want to do and then you do it every day and you figure out if it's going great then it's fantastic if it's not then you try out different strategies to get there but those strategies would be different for each country uh for us taxation it might be it is different than in india so you have to figure out different strategies on how to deal with that uh, so principle stays the same uh, the way you do it changes i agree with that now my last question for you if somebody sure. has not read the book thinking go rich why yeah. should they go pick up the book and read the book um that's one of the books that completely changed the way i think the other one would have been you know a four hour work week and there are like five six books that have had a huge impact on the way that i am as a person and the way that i'm uh, i think currently about success about life about how to go ahead and things like that so as i told you the most important learning from think and grow rich is thoughts are things and if you are aiming or dreaming too low uh it's not worth it like you have to have big dreams so yeah i mean i am a different person because of the book and for someone who is new to success and wants to achieve great things in whichever field uh, sports media and entertainment business um your dreams are going to be the thing that is going to drive you towards where you want to go and this book teaches you how to dream and dream big not just regular normal goals but huge goals and then actually how to achieve them awesome like listen i want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us i know there's thank a lot of uh, people anytime thank you so much i know there's a lot of people asking about thinking growth documentary you got to google that and it should be on amazon so you'll be able to buy the new thinking growth the legacy the movie you'll be able to yeah. watch it on Amazon. That's how I got it on Amazon. So, you should definitely check that. I appreciate you taking this time and being with us. Hopefully we could get to do more. Thank you so much. Absolutely.